This is the proof, guys. This is the proof. I am telling you, I have done it right in front of your own eyes, as you can see. Hey, family, welcome back to Kratos Tubes. I am your host, Paras, and in today's video, I am going to take you through a tutorial in which you can transfer or replicate your tokens from ERC20 to PRC20 using Ledger Wallet. So, in my last video, I have covered a detailed tutorial in which you can convert your ERC20 tokens to PRC20 tokens which means you can replicate whatever tokens that you have in the ERC20 standard on the Ethereum mainnet to the Pulse Chain network using MetaMask. So I have received these queries from that video as you can see in front of your screen the comments here. So if you want to watch that video I suggest click on the link above and have a look at that video. I will also share its link in the description of this video. Also I strongly suggest you watch that video first and then come back and watch the ledger wallet video. It will give you more clarity. So this is the first time that I will be transferring or connecting ledger wallet and will try to replicate the tokens from ERC20 to PRC20 on Pulse Chain using ledger wallet. So let's get started. So what you can see in front of me is a scan.pulsechain.com which is a Pulse Chain explorer of the mainnet. Now please remember before you add Pulse Chain to your MetaMask or any other wallet, remember to only use the mainnet credential. Please verify it do not do it with the testnet. So let me just quickly tell you. So this is the official website of Pulse Chain and you can see the credentials here, the data network name, RPC chain ID. So this is the official mainnet credential you can say for adding the Pulse Chain mainnet. So use this credential or if you're facing confusion, you should go to chain list, connect your wallet and search Pulse Chain. So this is what you get Pulse Chain and add it to your wallet. For example, I am using MetaMask so I have already added it. If you want to know how it is done, I strongly suggest to watch my previous video and then come back here. So this is here. Let me type my password. So I am on Ethereum mainnet and to add Pulse Chain like I've added here, you need to go to add network and enter the details like it is shown right over here. So once I open my MetaMask, let me show you this option. Go to this add a network manually and these are the details that you need to enter. Just copy paste details which are given right over here network name, RPC URL, everything and you will get the network added. So this is the step that you need to follow if you wish to add your network on the MetaMask. So remember for Ledger Wallet also you will need MetaMask to connect. Now MetaMask is the middle party which will help you connect your Pulse Chain to the Ledger Wallet. Now let me show you how. So this is the option you need to go to connect hardware wallet here. Now remember before that go to settings and in the advanced settings go to here which is something called as preferred ledger connection type. So according to ledger do it web HID as a default option and then you can go back and remember to stay on the Ethereum mainnet before connecting your ledger wallet. So now I will be connecting my ledger wallet. So let me go to connect hardware wallet option which is right over here. So once I click on it, So this is Ledger, Trezor, Lattice and QR based wallet. So these are the wallets that you can connect. Now remember when you connect the Ledger wallet, you should be inside that Ethereum app, which means you should have entered your password in the Ledger wallet. You should have entered into the Ethereum application, which means that your Ledger wallet is active and is connected. So I will share the image right over here to make you understand. Also, I suggest watching this tutorial first, which is shown right over here. This tutorial, click on this if you don't understand what to do with the ledger wallet at the time of connection 
and before pressing continue so let me just set up my switch on my wallet quickly ledger wallet quickly so i don't have double camera to show you but i am entering my pass key on the ledger wallet so please be with me for few seconds and i will be back again okay i think i am almost done yes so i am inside the ethereum app and now i will connect click continue so this is asking me for nano s paired so i will click on it and click connect so I have to wait for some seconds i guess and i am waiting here so this is connected so you have three option on the drop down menu either ledger live legacy or bip44 standard so the thing is that if you have balance in your ledger wallet ethereum balance so if it doesn't show you in the first five addresses i suggest switching to other option in which it will show you so i have a legacy ethereum address so again i need to pair it and if i do it it will show me my address so this is one of the address which is containing ethereum so i need to unlock it so let me click the unlock option and it will show me on the metamask unlock so here is that so my ledger wallet can be seen on the metamask it has imported the details and now as a rule of thumb let me switch it to the pulse chain network and see what will happen will it replicate the value of this ethereum into the pls tokens in terms of pls tokens or not now once i do it let me shift to pulse chain so this is the moment of truth which i have to check and just pray to god that my eth will be converted to pls if it doesn't happen that is okay i can convert other erc20 token on the ledger wallet using metamask pulse chain so this is the proof guys this is the proof i am telling you i have done it right in front of your own eyes as you can see now my pulse chain contain 0.304 to pls which is equivalent to the ethereum that is there on my ledger wallet so i am telling you it is possible in my case for connecting metamask and now i have connected ledger wallet in both the cases i can see my ethereum converting to pls on the pulse chain it is replicating the quantity of the ethereum e token into pls token so this is actually working guys here is the second proof i have given you now just like the metamask wallet you import tokens and add other tokens similarly you have to do it so i strongly suggest to watch my previous video in which i have shown the example of metamask connecting with pulse chain and imported the bat token which is an erc20 token so i think things should be clear for now this is the detailed tutorial and if you have any question any problem just comment below and please do remember to subscribe because this is the live example that i am showing in front of you this is not sugar coated this is actually just happened this is the first time i connected this wallet and i hope i pray to god that it should work for you and all your problem will get solved remember if it is not working try with other erc20 tokens like usdc dai i prefer trying with bat token because they have a contract address on the pulse chain network so do not try with hex at first because it is failing at the moment similarly you cannot try with pls or plsx because sometimes it is not working for people but do try it guys it will work it will also work with other wallet so that's about it that's the video i hope you enjoyed watching it i hope you learned something out of it remember all of you will make money everyone will be happy walk me do subscribe to my channel because i share knowledgeable videos every single day thanks for watching thank you